All right, what's going on guys? Uh, today I got a little bit of a different video. So recently I was trying to find a way that I could add live effects to my microphone in programs like Discord or Skype or Zoom, if you use Zoom meetings for school, whatever. And I was doing some research and a lot of videos I found were kind of outdated and they were all trying to use this program reaper they were all trying to use this or they weren't trying to use this they were using this and it works but i feel like most people can get the same effect using obs and a lot of people were also trying to use reaper to send their vocal effects to obs which uh, like i said maybe these were these were outdated and they didn't have these filters in obs like they do now but in OBS, as of 2020, you can add, uh, and it's been like this for like a f at least a few years, you can add live effects already to your microphone, noise gate, compressor, limiter, uh, I have an EQ here. So I really didn't want to have to learn this whole new program. Not that it's too difficult, but I'm just already so familiar with OBS and I already have all my filters that I want to use for Discord, so it would be easier to just use OBS. And I was really just searching through OBS, kind of messing around, and I found a way that you can do this, and it basically works the same as Reaper, just without Reaper. So you need a virtual audio cable. Like I said, it kind of works the same as Reaper if you've seen those videos. If not, you don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna stop referencing those videos. So you need a virtual audio cable and any of them will kind of work. I'll leave a link in the description for the one I used. It's VB uh, audio virtual cable. I think they have it, I don't know. It's VB, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but any virtual audio cable works so for starters if you open up obs you may not have what i have here i had to add this stuff that way you guys could hear me like if i were that you couldn't hear me there because i had yeah so if i didn't add these you wouldn't be able to hear me right now anyway so uh if you don't know how to use obs i'll go go through this really quickly um but you would just add an audio input capture and then you would just name it like microphone or something like that and then you would select your microphone in this case sorry you can hear me twice in this case um, you would just select your microphone whatever microphone you're using okay so that's uh, how it starts I'm, I'm going to remove this since I already have a microphone uh, I drew uh, this in paint just to kind of make this a little bit clearer to understand stand so basically you have your microphone and you send whatever your microphone input to OBS so that's what we just did by adding our microphone next you want to do all your processing in OBS so if you want to add any sort of effects here's where you do it um, if you want you can copy my settings but the settings for microphones vary from what kind of room you're in what kind of microphone you're using how close you are to the microphone uh, like your voice literally everything is a factor so copying my settings really may not help but if you want to try it uh, here they are um, for the EQ there are VSTs. I think these come with OBS. I'm not sure. Uh, someone leave a comment if they don't, because then I can figure, or I'll I'll show you guys how to get these. Um, but I think these come with OBS. Uh, this is just an EQ. It's a four band EQ. I just have kind of like mid treble. What what range is this? Five thousand hertz. I have that boosted by only three decibels just to kind of get that high-end treble um, a little bit clear to understand and I have these on right now so this is my voice with all the effects that I just showed this is them without it you can probably hear a pretty clear difference this is just the raw microphone that is coming into my that's plugged in my computer with no effects 
I put those back on, you can immediately tell the difference. So that's why I want to use this sound for Discord and stuff, just to get my microphone sounding a little bit better, but still with a natural sound, nothing too crazy. So once you have all your effects, you're going to want to go to settings and depending on your OBS version, I think in older versions, it was under advanced, but for me, it is under audio and you want to go to monitoring device. So like I said, if it's not under audio, maybe check advanced, um, or update OBS and then it, it should be under audio. Uh, it's under audio, then advanced monitoring device. Now, this is where you would select your uh, virtual audio cable that you downloaded. Uh, but before you do that, uh, just to test everything, I would go ahead and select ear or this. I would select whatever you have your default monitoring device is just to test it. So to test it, we're going to go to this go to your mic click the cogwheel click advanced audio properties and then under your you have your mic here you want to click audio monitoring monitoring and output and now you're probably about to hear me twice test so okay this is difficult to speak because i also hear myself twice uh oh i gotta fix this But with that, we know that it's working. If you can hear yourself through the default when you turn that on, then that means that it's working and you can go ahead and change your monitoring device to cable input. Now, if we go back to our Vincent Van Gogh drawing over here, we have now selected virtual audio cable. So OBS is sending its signal to the virtual audio cable. And now, uh, just for example, I'm going to use Discord to go ahead and show you. Uh, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. I'll go ahead and use Discord. Back to our drawing. OBS sends it to virtual audio cable, right? And then it outputs, virtual audio cable outputs to Discord, which is used as your input. If It's a little confusing, but I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Okay, there was probably just a really weird cut. There was an issue with OBS not picking up the sound, so I fixed it. So in OBS, you want to select your input device. Uh, by default, it's probably on default or your selected microphone. Now, just to show you that this is working, test. test. You can hear me through that. Um, now you would select cable output. Okay, now let me test. 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 You should be able to hear a very clear difference, which shows that it's working. And basically that's, that's it. That's the tutorial. Pretty easy, pretty simple. So yeah, I just found this easier than using Reaper. And I'm sure a lot of people are more familiar with OBS. So it's probably easier for a little bit more people. And I also didn't find any video on YouTube using OBS in this way. So I figured I'd go ahead and show a possible, possible way you could add effects. Um, if you want, I can also give a tutorial on how you can use OBS as a webcam. So basically how that works is whatever OBS is showing, you can output that to a virtual webcam basically. And then in say OBS, you could change to OBS camera and that's whatever OBS is showing, it shows on that OBS camera. Um, I can show that in a different video if you guys want it. Anyway, I think that is all and peace out.